Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes and I want to talk about this specific topic of uh, near-death experiences and what people feel and perceive and what they see in these near-death experiences, hence near-death. I, I want to um, completely debunk and demystify the experience of near-death when you see he uh, hell, hell and the demented dark places. Hell doesn't exist, and demented dark places don't exist. Satan doesn't exist. Um, dark spirits exist, but they're spirits that are lost. But he but hell doesn't exist, and demented dimensions maybe they exist, but you have to, as a spirit, you have to travel there to see them. You have to you know, want to go. But hell doesn't exist. Near death experiences. When people say that when they die, they say that they see hell. And they see this heaven, they go to heaven, and then this entity, this angel entity, kind of like shows them this kind of like uh, this uh, universe or this uh, realm that houses both the negative and the positive. And they're, they're like neighbors, basically, like interfused neighbors. You know, they're just there, you know, like dirt and grass. They're just there. You know, um, they're, they're connected. And I want to be bunk and demystify that there is no hell. When you die, you don't go to hell. Even Hitler is in heaven. Hitler is in heaven. You know, there is no hell. No one goes to hell no matter how bad you are. No matter if you cause a genocide, to genocide, to genocide like Hitler. Even, even if you killed a hundred babies, a hundred dogs, kittens. Um, destroy the, the country or continent of a million, 50 billion, 50 million people, you're not going to hell because there is no hell. You know, the reason why people have in these near-death experiences, hence the word near-death, they're near-death, they're not dead, they're not in death, they're not finished, they're in a near-death experience, they're near, which means that their, their soul is still connected to the mundane anchor, the mundane spiritual level of the body, which is everyday experiences, everyday observation, and everyday sens uh, um, senses. The person that has a near-death experience, uh, basically when they die, they have a flat line, their blood is, is zero, there's zero blood pressure, they're dead, but the spirit is still kind of like hovering, it kind of loosens up in the body, it's kind of like loosening and kind of hovering in the body, you know, it's not completely detached hovering, it's mostly detached, it's mostly connected to the body still, when it's like that, you get what I call spiritual hallucinations, provoked by your own mind, you know, provoked by the neural activity, the residual neural activity of your dead body, and the fears and, and, and anxieties of, of your body, of your ego and psyche. And the reason why you have a new experience is because the spirit is kind of still connected to um, the dream state of those neuro activity, the neuro neurological residual um, um, uh, um, activity within the brain. You know, on um, the psyche, the anxiety, the ego is still there. And so when you when you have um, when you have when you die, when people have near death experiences, they're having and a, a hallucination, a hallucination of of death that's uh, that has negativity in it. And where does the negativity come from? The only negativity that exists in, the, in this hallucination is from you. You're provoking. You're provoking this hallucination. You're provoking it. You, uh, hell to to manifest before your eyes. You're provoking it with your own anxiety and and psyche and your own ego and your internal turmoil when you're living as a person you're provoking this vision to appear that there is hell and that there's a dark fiery place and there's satan and people are suffering and michael jackson is burning and selena is burning and, and everybody's dying and everybody's and it, it, it's a spiritual hallucination and the only way spiritual hallucination can and can happen is when the spirit is kind of loosened up and it's still connected to the body a dead body with it still with some neuro neuro or neurological residual activity going on in the brain and uh and, and that's just the thing it's just a spiritual hallucination it's not real 
and uh, most people feel that uh, <clears throat> that they believe it's real, which it, which it, it is not. Uh, there is no heaven. There there is no hell. But there is a heaven, and heaven is basically within the quantum foam. Our experiences that are happening around us is in the quantum foam. And the reason why um, you you have these this spiritual nation is because the body is. The spirit is still connected to the body, and the spirit is still kind of has slight tethering, slight small um, quantum tethers, kind of still hanging in in the psyche of the mind, and and through the ego and through the psyche and the anxiety of the, of the living body, it's still transferring that negative information to the spiritual, to the spiritual mind, to the higher mind. And when it comes to battle that's a near death experience, near, near it. And when, when you're in a near death experience, you're going to have a hallucination because the body is still tethered within the spirit, and the spirit is tethered to the body, and they're going to have these kind of like this clashing. It's a clashing, is what's going on because your body hasn't left the anxiety and fears and pain of what the living body has experienced. The spirit needs to leave that. To make it to the Once it detaches, the then you have ultimate death, final death. Final death is a true, is, is a true experience of positivity. True death is no anxiety, no fears, no, no um, negative visions of hell or devils or disembodiment, negativity, things, ugly things. Once you detach from the body, the spirit needs to completely detach. From this, this, uh, this cesspool of pain and anger and anxiety to completely immerse itself into a spiritual world, the quantum form of space and time and the universe. Once it does that, then it's going to be a positive, positive forever. And that's why I wanted to make this video that the spirit, that the, that the spirit realm is full of positivity. When you die, you're not going to go to hell. You, you will see a light. You will see your relatives. When you do, when you see a relative, hold on to them. Let them take you away. Let, the, let your dead relative take you away. Don't fight them. Don't be a lost soul. Don't wander around in the, in the living world. Let your spirit take you. And no matter about the archons and all the other crazy conspiracies, just let yourself be at peace. And then make decisions. It's, it's, when you're in the spirit realm, make decisions and think. You can still think. And you can still travel the universe. You're not tied down. You know, maybe the archons are real or not, I don't know. But follow your spirit guide. Follow your uncle or your brother or sister or mother. Let them take you away. Don't fight them. And there is no hell. And there is no dementia areas. And I want to make sure that you mystify that and debunk it. Near-death experiences are just spiritual hallucinations that are not real because the spirit is still micro, uh, quantumly tethered to the body and has not completely detached from the cesspool of negativity of the body. That's what near-death experience is. When you're finally dead and you're hovering above the body and you are dead, a gunshot to the head, you got your head run over by a train, you, your, your body is cut in half by a psychopath or whatever, you're dead, you're in peace. There is no hell, ever, ever, ever. The only hell is what you're creating now and what you're trying to latch onto the spirit, which you cannot do. Ricky says, but it is, thank you guys for watching. Don't have fear, and hell is not real. Thank you.